Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday, I hope you all had a fantastic week. Um, let's recap. So Monday I did a blush declutter on my channel. It was far too long, honestly, it was way too long. And then I did a blog sale um, over the week or whatever and I have a ton of blushes left over so if you don't mind very lightly and sanitize, lightly used and sanitized blushes and you would like to enter for this little giveaway, let me know in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel and just leave a comment that you would like to be entered. Like I said, these are used. Um, I have a couple that are still new in the package, but um, most of them are lightly used or just swatched. So I will insert a picture of all the blushes that are included and yeah, just enter below. Okay, so I also uploaded a video, a short video, like a quick five minute video of my everyday eye look. So I will link both of those videos below just in case you missed them. But Today is February favorites. I love the month of February because, I don't know, I go to the store and there's all these Valentine's decorations. And then I know a lot of people say Valentine's Day is a Hallmark holiday, which it is. But um, I don't know, just seeing all the hearts and everything about love gets me, gets my spirits going. It gets me in a good mood, you know? So I do love I love February. So, and it was a good February. But let's start talking about some makeup that I was loving. Let me know what you guys are loving in the comments. I always like to hear that. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with a little skincare because I haven't heard anybody else talk about this. And if you like to use facial oils, you guys, this is so good from the drugstore. It is the Organic Wear Bright Booster Oil Elixir elixir by physicians formula whoa that's hard to say it's so good it comes with a dropper it comes with a ton of products if you use a beauty oil at night in the mornings mixed with foundation in your hair any of that try this one it's $14.99 I used to be obsessed with the Tarte Maracuja oil and I've done the Josie Moran Argan oil all of that and this is just as good. It, it really hydrates, it feels good, it sinks into your skin, it helps you feel moisturized. Um, I do mix it in my foundation, I mix it in my daily moisturizer, I mix it in my night cream, everything. I love this, you cannot beat this price. It is a, a full fluid ounce, and like I said, it was $14.99, but a lot of times you can use coupons or buy one, get one half off on Physicians Formula, so. I love this and I wish more people would try it because it's really, really good. For bronzer this month, I've been using a lot, but honestly, I use this one almost every day just to kind of warm up my skin. If I'm gonna contour, I still use this product. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Milk Chocolate Soleil. Now I have the Chocolate Soleil and it's a hint too dark for me, especially in, you know, the spring or winter time just because I don't have a lot of natural color on my face. But milk chocolate, if you're anywhere from fair to light, I think you're gonna like this. Um, it smells so good. Uh, it smells like the chocolate palettes. It smells like the original chocolate Soleil. It just smells like cocoa powder and it's delicious and it makes me smile. But I love this as a bronzer to warm up my face and also to blend out my contour. It's what I have on today. Again, I also like to put this in the crease of my eyes just as my first lay down transition color just to kind of define my crease. So I did use this as that today also. But this is really good if you haven't tried it or if you think that Chocolate Soleil is a t a, like a touch too deep for you, try the milk chocolate. It is gorgeous. And then, okay, this, I got this in a boxy charm. Of course, this has a story with it. And I have mentioned this before, but I didn't know if it was still for sale because I got it about a year and a half ago and I don't hear anybody talk about it. So I looked on the Ofra Cosmetics site and it's still available. It's $35, which I think is a little bit high priced, but I know that my friend Lip Gloss Leslie, she has a code for Ofra, which I will link in the description bar. Um, I don't have a code for them, but you can use Leslie's and it'll save you some money. And then, you know, I don't know, you get a ton of product, man. This is six grams of product and it's a loose powder. 
So um, you get a lot for your money. You know what I'm saying? I use this a ton and I'm not even 10% done with it. But it is the Derma Mineral Powder Pink Sapphire. It's a highlighter. Look at this highlight. I Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. And I have a couple of the Ofra Pressed Highlighters and I like them, but not as much as I like this one. I think this is the true gem of the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighters. If you like a more pinky or icy toned highlight, try this baby. You could even like go in with a couple of your friends and split this because honestly, you do not need that much product. I mean, you just need a barely a little amount and you get such a beautiful glow. So I have that on as a highlighter. But if you're wondering what is on my lid and my inner corner, I have this on top of a cream shadow that I'm going to talk about. But um, it, this is gorgeous as an eyeshadow too. Like on your lid, it is absolutely beautiful. I can't even. It's so pretty. It's multifunctional. So you can use it on your eyes. You can use it on your cheeks. Everything like that. It's just it's so pretty. You can use it wet and really intensify it or you can put it on lightly dry like I did today over a cream or even just alone. It's absolutely beautiful. I highly recommend this. I think more people need to get it and try it because it's the bomb. Okay, so on my video I did on Wednesday, my everyday eye makeup, I used this product. If you don't like glitter, you're not going to like this. But the new Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. This one's in Kit and Karma. I did order a few more of these. I'll have a haul coming next week because they're not in yet. Like, they haven't been shipped to me yet. Um, so I'm going to have a haul. But I wanted to mention this, guys, because if you haven't tried these and you are a fan of glitter, it's a must. They, I think they're $24, which is kind of up there. Um, but they're just absolutely stunning. They come on a wand, which I apply it straight from the wand onto my eyes. Um, you get a little fallout, but nothing that is like where I wouldn't use it. You know what I mean? It doesn't interfere with, I just wipe it away, you know? But um, these are so good and Stila is now cruelty free, which makes me so happy because I have been wanting to try these since they came out like back in December. But um, you know, I don't buy any cruel, non cruelty free makeup anymore, so I'm so glad that they're cruelty free now. And yeah, I had to snag some up and I love them, they're definitely worth the hype. And then, um, for lips, uh, you guys, if you're new to my channel, I do weekly favorites every week on Fridays. Um, and usually I have a couple of lips that I, or lipsticks or whatever that I've been using throughout the week and stuff, but this one, this lip liner. I have been using all month long no matter what lipstick I was wearing. Even today I have this lip liner on. It is the Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in Plumberry. And it's just, it's the perfect, it's the shade of my lips. It might be one shade darker than the shade of my lips. But because I'm getting older, <laughs> um, my pigmentation is like on the outer corners, my, the pigmentation is gone. So I love this Laura Mercier Plumberry because I can fill it in and it matches the rest of my lips, you know. Um, I definitely recommend this. This is a good formula. It's not super creamy like the Urban Decay lip liners or, you know, it's not super duper creamy, but it's not as dry as the original MAC lip liners. So I find that it goes on well, but it also stays a long time throughout breakfast, lunch, and you know, I usually don't have to touch up till late afternoon whenever I'm wearing this lip liner. So I highly, highly recommend Plumberry by Laura Mercier. I guess this is a favorite, but I wanted to mention it right now because I'm wearing it on my lips over that liner. It is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lipstick in Dopey. Um, and I've said this before, I'll say it again. Um, this formula, the Ultra Satin Lips, is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Uh, they do, as you can see, they dry down to a complete matte. So I'm not sure why they call them satin. They are a little bit watery going on, but within like 10 or 20 seconds, they're dry and matte completely. 
and kiss proof and I love them. Dopey is probably one of my favorite colors. I have a few that I love, but um, I definitely love this formula. This, this formula was actually my 2016 favorites, which is kind of a big deal. It really is. It means I really love it. So that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And also, like I said, if you don't mind lightly used um, blushes and you want to be entered in the giveaway, comment below. Just say enter me or something like that. And be sure you're subscribed. I kind of was touch and go whether or not whether or not I would do it as a giveaway because I don't know, I feel like cheap or something. I don't know, but I was going to just give them to, you know, friends or whatever. And you guys are friends to me. So I figured if y'all don't mind, I don't mind. And someone can have a whole bunch of free blushes. So anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your Friday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. P.S. I think I will run this giveaway for a week. So in next week's Friday favorites, I will announce the winner. You're here? How long have you been here? Like five seconds. You're cute. What are you doing? Mm, must be love on the brain. That's got me feeling this way. Mm, I'm so awkward.